guys, I am excited to create this really cool minimalist red lip radiant skin look. It's perfect because it's clean, it's fresh, it really focuses on the complexion and of course the lips. So keeping it really simple, clean and modern, this is a really great alternative to a smoky eye and a nude lip look. It's a nice counterbalance so I hope that you enjoy it. Tune in. Okay, the first product that I'm going to start with is from Jouer. It's their Luminizing Moisture Tint, and this gives the skin a really nice, light, soft glow, and it also evens out and corrects the skin. It is a little bit more of a tinted moisturizer versus a medium to full coverage foundation, but it just does a nice job at evening and brightening the entire complexion. So here we go. I'm gonna start with about a dime size amount, and I'm going to blend out with my Sigma F80. Is this my F80? Yes, it is. My F80 Kabuki Flat Brush. Starting from the chin, blending out towards the lower half of the jaw. And then I'm gonna keep this moving in circular buffing motions, working the product along the center part of the complexion, around the nose, forehead, and then the outer cheeks. Now that that's complete, I'm going to follow with concealer. I'm going to use Rouge Bunny Rouge Luminizing Skin Wand in Orianis number 24. It's a really pretty kind of fair light shade that will cancel out, correct, and remove any kind of discoloration or pigmentation issues. It's a portable click wand, so I'm gonna give it about one to two clicks. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just apply three dots to the under eye area. And then I'm going to follow by applying a nice light stripe around the edges of the nose and then down towards the folds right along the center of the cheeks. And then I'm going to finish by adding coverage along the chin and then along the lower half of the lips, the edge. And then I'm going to create just a little bit of a flower shape right between the brows. So that is the placement of the concealer and now we're just going to go ahead and blend out and make sure that everything is covered and concealed. Okay, once that is set underneath the eyes, I'm going back in with my Rouge Bunny Rouge concealing brush. This is the zero, excuse me, the 004 brush and I'm going to just tap that in and blend out the concealer across the forehead and then along the edges of the nose. And then of course, along the chin, blending right into that Jouer moisture tint. And then last but not least, blending out the concealer around the lower half of the lips edge. Now that that's complete, I'm going to go ahead and move on to eyebrows. So I'm going to use Honest Beauty's Brow Filler in Dark Blonde. First step is to shape and groom the brows. I'm simply brushing them up and gently around using the spoolie end of the pencil. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in and feather the color into the brows using the actual brow filler side of the pencil as well. When I'm filling in, I'm focusing just a little bit more along the center part of the brow and along the tail versus the front edge. This is to ensure that I deliver a more natural looking brow fill versus going over the top and squaring off the front of the brow. That tends to look a little bit too artificial, so I'm definitely steering away from that. Now that I filled in the brows with the Honest Beauty Brow Groomer, I'm actually going back in with Peak Beauty's Duo Brow Henna Powder. It's actually a dye in a powder, even though it doesn't permanently stain your brows. I actually really love this for filling in additional sparseness between the brows. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to actually mix these two shades and just fill in a little bit between the pencil where I need just a little bit extra help. I'm going to go ahead and do that with my crown brush. This is the C470 Flat Eyeliner Brush, and I'm simply just taking the two mixed powder colors together and gently just tapping a little extra color and coverage in between the brow hairs just where I need it, right over the pencil. Okay, so now after the brow filling is complete, I'm moving on to eyes. And I'm going to apply Rouge Bunny Rouge Cream Eyeshadow and Brocade Skipper. It's actually a, just a gorgeous, nice, neutral shade. It actually mimics the tone of your natural lid color. And I'm going to apply about two dots 
make that three to the center of the lid and then I'm simply taking my fingertips and I'm blending it out across the entire lid. This creates a really pretty nice light neutral wash of color over the entire lid space. Once that is complete, I'm going to go back in using my Honest Beauty Luminizing Powder in Midnight Reflection. I'm going to go ahead and pop this right into the inner corners of the eyes using my E35 Sigma Beauty Pro Blending Brush. This creates just a really pretty nice pop of luminous glow along the inner corners of the eyes. And you have to remember that this look is mostly about the skin and all about the lips. So the eyes are actually just going to be really nice and clean looking without any kind of heavy color. Remember, this is also like the opposite of a total smoky eye and nude lip look. So it's minimalist and it's totally modern and the eyes will be really, really easy to recreate. I'm also just going to take a little bit of the luminizing powder and just pop just a touch underneath my brows to uplift the underbrow area and just kind of make that whole arch and entire eye pop. Next up is to curl the eyelashes. I'm going to use my Kevin Aquan eyelash curler and when I curl my lashes I'm just going to press about three to five times on each eye to give it that nice lift separation and curl. It's a gentle patting motion, not a heavy squeezing motion. So keep that in mind whenever you're curling your lashes. It's just like little light bumps of curl, three to five times usually does the trick. Okay, so next up is mascara. I'm using Rouge Bunny Rouge Big Lash Mascara in Pure Obsidian. This is really an awesome volumizing mascara. So I'm just going to use this to gently coat the lashes and wiggle the wand from the root of the lash base in an upward motion, moving the wand gently back and forth. And then we're gonna finish with just a light coat to the lower lashes. Okay, so now we're just going to sculpt the cheeks a little bit with bronzer. I've chosen Rouge Bunny Rouge Bronzing Liquid. This is actually really nice because it has a little bit of glow to it. So it dries demi matte and it's perfect for a gentle contour. I'm going to shake this up and apply one pump to the palm of my hand. And then I'm going to actually take my Sigma Duo Fiber Blush Brush. This one is my F15. I'm going to go into the product using the warmth of my palm and my brush. And then I'm going to create just a very subtle contour from the cheek to the underside. I should say from the underside of the cheek to about the ear's edge, blending. And then I'm going to take my fingertips and just gently buff that up towards the apple of my cheek. Now whatever is left over on my brush and on the palm of my hand, I'm going to just dab a little bit and blend into the hairline. So just along the very top parts of the hairline, moving gently in a very feather light motion to create just a very subtle glowing sun-kissed effect. And then I'm gonna buff it down towards the temples on either side to finish and essentially to create a light bronze halo around the forehead. Now that that's complete, I'm going into my Honest Beauty Cream Blush in Truly Flirting, such a pretty pink. And I'm going to actually use my crown brush, this is a makeup show anniversary brush, going into and tapping right into the actual cream compact, creating a light coat, and then tapping out any excess at the top of my hand so I make sure I'm not applying too much initially. So I'm applying directly to the apple of the cheek and then I'm blending outward and slightly downward. So since this really is all about radiant skin and red lips, I'm going to go back into my Honest Beauty Midnight Reflection Highlighting Powder with my Crown Beauty Fluffy Kabuki Brush. And I'm just going to apply a nice light layer to the high parts of the cheeks, right above the cheek color that I just placed on the apples of the cheek. And this creates a really pretty brightened effect and that beautiful added glow to the cheek area and also I'm gonna pop a little bit to the inner corners of the cheeks as well this really helps to lift everything up and further highlight and brighten and create that really pretty luminous heavenly looking glow 
And then right above each brow, just along the edges of the outer edge of the brow, I should say. Last but not least to finish the look are of course the lips. So I chose Rouge Bunny Rouge Color Burst Lipstick in Raw Silence. It is the perfect blue red and it's just really nice to complete the look because it doesn't overpower the rest of the complexion. It's just all about skin and lips and this color will definitely do the trick. So when I apply, I'm going to just dab to the center of the lips before I move outward. So top center and bottom center. And then I'm gonna go ahead and begin to trace the color around the edges of each side of the lip. I'm pressing the lips together to make sure that the color is transferred evenly. You wanna do that about a few times to make sure that you get a nice even coat. And then I'm also going to take a tissue and just remove any kind of excess color as well and then relayer for a nice long lasting finish. <laughs> okay, one more pop. And that lifts off any excess color and there's one more step to this for the perfect ultimate red lip to pair with the Radiant Complexion. I'm going back in and I'm taking my NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Fair Light. I often use this along the inner rims of the eyes, but today I'm actually going to use it to correct and kind of buff out any edges or any shifts of color along the edge of my lips so that the line is perfectly perfected. So this is the final look. It's all about the lips and glowing skin. This is a really great modern minimalist option. If you prefer not to do a smoky eye or you just really wanna focus on the lips, it pairs perfectly. It's never outdated and always classic. And it's also your perfect party look as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all soon.